Welcome to this new tutorial of Alias Teacher TV. There is good news first because we have a new version of Alias 2021 and there are some additional functions now in Alias SubD which I want to introduce in this video and forthcoming videos too. So the first thing I want to mention is that I prepared for you this panel shelf menu and also marking menu and default shelf um, which you can use so if you go to the description at the bottom you can download it and then install it by just clicking here with right click to replace shelf set and then you go to panel shelf 2021 sub d and you open that one and you get exactly the panel shelf i have in this video so you can follow exactly my steps now before we start with the new stuff some old things for display of sub d modeling let's toggle the model and pick the sub we want to work on and switch on the CVs. And there's one thing which even older alias users maybe don't know. If you go to the options of toggle model, then there is an option called wireframe only. And that's pretty cool because we can switch off all the patch layout of our sub and just see the vertices we want to work on. The other thing which is very, very useful is the hotkeys. So if you have a hotkey, one and three for box mode three then you have the shaded hardware shade version that's very comparable to what you have in maya now let's come back to the new stuff um, the most important thing is we have the new transform option now for vertices edges and faces this one is just a reminder it's the hotkeys q w e r and i show you how it works so if i pick one of the vertices and I hit W then I can move it I can move along an axis or I can move within a plane move around so that's that's the general function with E I can could rotate which doesn't make sense for a single point R would be scaling which also doesn't make sense here but it makes sense of course when we select an edge loop for example so I select the edge loop here and I go to R and scaling helps me to planarize these. So I go there and whoop, wrong direction. Now in this direction, I can planarize everything within a plane. Just show it once again. So go to the edge loop, which is here. R for scaling and then the X direction. And I scale it and I get it within a plane. Don't forget the old functions, which are available for sliding, for example. I go slide and I can put this more towards the middle so I have very well and nicely distributed vertices on the side here. Another function which, which I want to introduce again is if I pick an edge loop and I go to a command called move normal, which is in this direction, I can normally move all the points inward or outward. Here I just show you very extreme. So this would be really sharp so I go let's say here for example finally we come to the command called bevel which is in since alias 2020.3 and I show you the wheel arch situation here with a sharp edge and I want to have a small fillet on it which I will do with the bevel of course the so bevel is here but before I start with it I have to pick the edge loop and then hit the bevel and now the three mouse buttons have different meanings. Left mouse button is the width of the whole thing, so I can make it sharper. So now I have a flat chamfer. If I hit the middle mouse button, I get scissions. And with the right mouse button, I can change the crown value. Now we come to the end of this video. Uh, this time a short one. It's a lot of other things in alias 2021 which i show in follow up following videos uh, let me say thank you and also i've planned to do some alias classic videos because it's so much new stuff in alias and it's the 35th birthday of the software which is still so cool